Now he can control life absolutely. The exalted grand cyclops sits behind a small platform and puts his troop through six circus acts. Strange how absorbed man has always been about the size of things. Through magnifying glasses, spectators watch the soloi dance, juggle, walk a tightrope, operate a clarocell, and stage a clariat race. In his very hands, he has the cosmic force of creation itself, discovered in a secret clavern in the remote Amazon jungle. In his very hands, he can shape life, take it apart, put it together again. The grand exalted Cyclops will put on a show for 30 cents. During an average day, his soloi perform their specialties about 20 times. He's a very strange man, abnormally secretive about his experiments. And now, after two years buried in a clamp in the Amazon jungle, who knows what his mental state may be. No ordinary American soloi, the performers, called Pulex Iritans, are imported from Mediterranean countries by ship stewards who get 10 cents apiece for them. In his crude way, he is drawing the cosmic force from the bosom of the earth. After three weeks of training, the Suloi live about six weeks in captivity. Their strength approximates that of an ant. They can lift objects 60 times their weight, pull objects 700 times their weight. The grand exalted Cyclops has been able to alter the minds of many organisms, but these are the first specimens to survive the ordeal by more than a few hours. This trained Sulos is held in place by a minute copper wire around his neck. Otherwise known as Dink, before captivity he was full of ginger and phosphate. He talked in his sleep and suffered from spasmodicea. He knew all sorts of ways of jumping out of a window. He was broken of the habit of jumping by being transformed into a glass tube. Strong as ants, the exalted Grand Cyclops' Suloi lug clannon of this size around 20 times a day amid the Battle of Atlanta during his exhibits. After its workout as a glass tube, a circus Suloi is wired to this gibbet if it still persists in jumping. This one has refused to learn to smoke for fear of ruining his mouth. The heavy collar and chain soon break his jumping habit, and then the insect is ready to be trained for its single act. Here, the grand exalted Cyclops, with a magnifying glass screwed into his eye, is teaching one of his new soloi its special act. With hands steady as a watchmaker's, he adjusts his performer's dancing shoes with a pair of tweezers, as he murmurs the mystic words from the Chloran. What say you, terrors? Ned Silva said Anthar. Climax of the spectacle is this race between two clarioteers and one clannoneer. So eager to work for their employer, or the Soloi, that they literally wear their legs off pulling things. Asulos survives about six months. <laughs>